at the White House in an attempt to use the verdict from the International Court of Justice as a kind of vindication. We simply have said consistently we find that that, that, that claim is, is unfounded. Um, and, you know, the, the court also did not find uh, Israel guilty uh, of genocide. A final decision on whether this is genocide is likely years away, but the court did order Israel to avoid civilian casualties and to allow more aid into the Gaza Strip. The U.S. says it has asked Israel to do both. But the bombing continues, the starvation spreading. If it continues, this will likely end up before the UN Security Council, which has the power to impose economic sanctions, ban the sale of weapons, or even authorize the use of force. But many experts believe the U.S. simply will not let that happen. They really are not going to abandon Israel when it comes to Gaza. They will put pressure on them to behave more rationally, and I think they're going to start putting pressure on them soon to wind down the main part of the conflict, but they're not going to vote against them in the Security Council. U.S. President Joe Biden did get involved into one aspect of the war on Gaza. He spoke on the phone with the Emir of Qatar and the President of Egypt. We were told they're discussing a potential deal for a ceasefire in exchange for some of the captives. Now, usually when the key players get involved, it could be an indication that something's getting close, but an official here says nothing is imminent. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.